In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to insert formulas into our tables. So I've adjusted the table that we've been using for our videos thus far. And here you can see I've got 300 Rand in this one and 200 Rand in this one. So let's say this is the cell where we want to insert a formula that's going to add up these two items and another one that's actually going to count these two. So by now we know our formulas, our min, max, sum, average. We know that we have a count formula that counts the number of cells that have something in them. So in order to do this, we click in the cell, again, table tools, layout, we go over to formula. And there you can see is a typical formula that comes up, equals sum, we know that from Excel, and it says in brackets above. So it will add up or sum up everything in the cells above it. All I'm going to click is OK, and there you can see I have it, right? I can adjust my alignment, um, but there it has done that for me, okay? I can also go and I'm going to go to formula again. And this time I'm going to use another formula. I'm going to use count. But this time, when I click OK, do you see what happens? It now gives me two rand. Because the number format it's using is like a currency, right? So when I click on formula and I go to number format, I'm now going to change that to just a normal zero. And that should give me the number two. Okay, so these are just two formulas, typical formulas that they will ask you um, to use. But let's just do one more. Let's see if we say uh, average. And we take that number format out there. You can see there, there they're giving us the average. So you can pop in those formulas and it's as simple as clicking in the cell, going to the layout tab, clicking formula, and then entering what you need to. Now I'm going to use a different table to show you how to sort items in a table. And here you can see I've got just a typical table with name, surname, age. I've got a few names, surnames, and ages. So all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to click on my um, table, go to Table Tools, go to the Layout tab, and I'm going to go to Sort. Once I do that, you can see it's asking me, what do you want it to sort it by? Now it's going to have column 1, 2, or 3. So we remember this is column 1. This is column two, and this is column three. So let's say I want to sort it by uh, names. I can type in the text, right? Using paragraphs, ascending, whatever I want to. But then I also want to sort it by age. And it's telling you that that's got a number in it. And I can click OK. And now you can see it's sorted by name and then age. Okay, you'll see that it's also because I've highlighted everything, it includes um, those items. So I'm just going to do that again and just highlight all of these. Go up to sort. Um, say again, column one and then by column three. Click OK. And there you can see. Okay, so now you can see the difference between highlighting the entire table and highlighting only the items. Um, you can see how that changes. And that's just, that's just how simple it is to do sorting on your table. 